Welcome back to Novice Explorer Radio. This week, the Novice Explorers cross into yet another country. Yes, it's late October and the Explorers are squeezing in a week's worth of adventure before the winter season snow falls. Welcome, <laughs> Welcome to, to Van, Van Life, Life Austria. Austria. Country number six. If you're counting England, Scotland and Wales, which we, we are. are. <laughs> So we have spent our first night in Austria and it was very quiet and cosy. It's only going to be a flying trip through because we haven't particularly planned the timing quite right. Uh, we haven't got snow chains or anything like that so we need to be out of the country by the 1st of November. We've got a 10 day vignette which allows us to use the motorways which we bought from a garage the other side of the border still in Germany. Basically we're just going to cram in as much as we can in the next few days and just try and make the most of it but we're going to have to definitely pay for a lot more camping here we're having a few issues with finding free spots are we not we are indeed especially coming from germany where we were literally spoilt it didn't matter you don't have to plan too much ahead you could just find a free spot regardless but for our first night in austria it feels like we're starting from zero in austria wild camping is illegal and very much discouraged so now we're going to go and visit Seefeld and I think we have to descend this mountain because I think we're still on top of one. We came up here last night in the search for a free spot which turned out not to be uh, free anymore so we had to find another spot pretty quick which is a big issue especially when you've got to drive so far up mountains it's a waste of diesel. But today should be a bit more fun we're going to go see a lake and just uh, see what's going on really. I think you should prepare yourselves for a lot of me shooting outside the windows to get some of the scenery from these roads. It's absolutely amazing. I would use dash cam footage, however, dash cams are strictly, strictly forbidden, so we've stowed hours away. Um, but I think I can still use my camera in the front seat, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> we'll find out. We made our way to Seafeld, taking in the epic views. The snow top mountains and surroundings were unreal. We were blessed with great weather, meaning blue skies as a backdrop to the stunning vistas. And of course, we made time for picture perfect snaps en route. We've made it to Seafeld and we're just going to go for a walk around the lake and a little mooch in the town. So we're just taking a few minutes to relax and enjoy the beautiful scenery and to plan what's coming up over the next few days. Yes, uh, we're having to think a lot, aren't we, on this trip? More I... than we have in Germany. We had over a month in Germany and we kind of roughly knew what we we're doing with the with the fairytale and romantic route and we knew how long that was roughly going to take, whereas this is just a bit more condensed. Mm. So we're trying to make it work. Yeah. There's so much to see and do, but we haven't quite picked the right time of year. Not quite. Because oh. <laughs> by the end of the week, as in the start of next week, it's supposed to be uh, freezing conditions and snow, so we need to be gone by then, really. <laughs> yeah. So we've had a quick walk around the lake, and now we're heading towards a religious site on top of a small hill, which will be hopefully nice views and calm atmosphere. Yes. <laughs> With rock carvings and formations. Very nice. Right up our street. These rock carvings weren't as old as we thought. No, not prehistoric, but created for the millennium solstice, June 2000. There are 12 stones in total, one for each of the disciples, with their names carved into each. The views were terrific too. We headed back into the quiet town, which is normally a bustling ski resort. You've always been my baby bear. <laughs> so 
So we're back at the van and luckily no ticket on the dashboard because we weren't sure about this car park. And now we've got about a two hour drive to Zelamsi and we're gonna pay for camping there probably for one or two nights. One night. For one night, depending what happens, and we'll explore that area tomorrow because it's getting on a bit now. And we're probably going to be jumping in and out of the van on the way to take pictures, etc., and enjoy the view. So that's what we'll be doing. Would you like an apple? Yes. <laughs> en route, we passed green pastures surrounded by the ragged mountains. We decided to head straight to the camp spot to settle in for the night, saving Zelam C for the following day. I haven't enjoyed the drive very much and the sat nav has done me wrong on multiple occasions and aggravated me. So I need to relax <laughs> and eat some food. This is roughly where we're camping tonight, so I think we should be able to relax somewhat later on and just chill out. So we've woken up, we've had breakfast, we've had a coffee, we've tidied up the van, somewhat done the washing up, and we're ready to leave our little farmyard campsite. It cost 15 euros for the night, and we got a free shower, but Quite a stark contrast compared to yesterday. I was hoping to get some more B-roll of the lovely view from this pitch, but wasn't expecting the fog. It's quite thick this morning, so we're going to descend back down the hill and we're going to go towards Zellam Sea. I think I mentioned we were going to go see that yesterday, but we changed our minds and thought we should find the pitch first. Um, probably the safest option, so we're going to go and explore today. It's also one of the colder days we've experienced so far, so hopefully the weather picks up a little bit and the uh, and hopefully the sun comes out as well because I think the lake will be glorious. It's lifting slightly, isn't it? But it's extremely thick. I just hope we don't slide as we try to drive off here. Meg's hunted out a potentially free parking spot, which is always good. They seem to be quite a rarity here, uh, but that might mean getting the bikes off the back, which wouldn't be such a bad thing, would it? No. Be good to stretch our legs. And then you need to put gloves and coats and everything because it is cold today. Oh yes, going to get the buff out. But the uh, the scenery, although it's foggy, is still quite epic because you've got the tops of the mountains just peeking out through the fog. It's quite surreal. Uh, that wasn't a bad drive at all. You can see the fog lifting and revealing the beautiful landscape and we found the car park. It's free as far as we can tell. We're going to take a quick walk before we get the bikes off just to recce out and see what uh, the situation is. Zelamsi is a popular place to visit, especially in the summer or ski season, and we can see why. Alright, ready? What am I doing? Smile. <laughs> I know it's a video. <laughs> uh, what can your thoughts on the lake? It's beautiful. It's nippy today, so everything's really fresh and it's like winter's coming. It's not that early, but there's a surprising lack of people about as well. Nice, nice change. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning here though. So that was a lovely little walk down to the lake's edge. Unfortunately, it's quite restricted with how far you can go around. So we're gonna hopefully leave the van where it is, get the bikes off the back and cycle some of it, maybe not all of it, because it's quite large. Yeah. <laughs> Cycle, so we're not quite at Zelam Sea. We are the other side at a smaller, like little villagey town. Yeah. So if we go halfway round and back, yeah, we'll be all right. And um, we might pick up some bread and some basic supplies, um, and just see what's going on. Try not to spend too much money. And I probably won't 
film whilst riding the bike because I just think I'm pushing my luck with that and it's too cold today. Are you going to film a little bit? <laughs> you can. <laughs> Of course Meg got her way and I did do some filming from the bicycle, however it was a lovely scenic ride in beautiful sunshine. We haven't used the bikes as much as we could have, but having them there gives us more flexibility, free transport and a bit of exercise. Around the lake there was a great cycle lane, directly into Zellam Sea Town. So we've made it into the larger of the lakeside towns. We have bike parking and toilets, which is always needed when you don't have one in a van. We can't go in because we haven't got the right change and I'm not putting two euros in for a wee. Mm. <laughs> so we're back on the hunt. We've made the pretty heartbreaking decision to sell the van, but I think we've made a good upgrade. The efficiency of this vehicle is far better and the views, I think, are a little bit better as well. It might be a bit tougher in the winter. We're lacking a roof and heating, but it's a compromise, isn't it? If you hadn't guessed, we've hired a banging little bow. <laughs> So we made the decision to hire a boat. We walked past, Cal was like, oh look, boats, you can hire them. I was like, think about the budget. Walk past, it was pretty cheap. So we've spent 24 euros on an hour in the boat and we're feeling pretty smug. It's cheered <laughs> me right up. Mary and I have been pretty grumpy the last couple of uh, days. Sometimes it's worth risking, what, a day's budget just to really Enjoy yourself, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you doing? A bit wobbly. But you can't really complain when you're the only ones on a massive lake surrounded by absolutely stunning scenery. Mm. The weather's glorious. This is what's so quiet, there's not very many tourists. There's a lot of stuff closed. This little boat, very nifty. <laughs> Electric. Mm -hmm. The green machine. This is when van life becomes just a little bit spontaneous. We weren't planning on doing this today and we didn't particularly plan it in our budget, but it seems though we are under budget last month, bugger it. Let's spend all the dollar and have a nice little boat trip. Do 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 do. Once a time. <laughs> <laughs> do 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 do. Once again, it's time for an epic lunch spot. You can't get a much better pastry pick than on a boat in the middle of Zalamsi. Stag, if you're watching, pastries for lunch. We might have some later, but uh, this is just a wee snack. Shout out to Hat Brat, who's looking after base camp for us. Uh, love you lots, and we know that you'd really like this place because Harriet, when she was younger, had an obsession with the sound of music, and this is where it was all created. Pressure's on. <laughs> Go and park it, mate. The woman's waiting for you. <laughs> Pressure. She knows your reliability. <laughs> it's going faster than you think, isn't it? Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Back 
on dry land did have a bit of sea leg uh, issue but we've decided we're going to go and cycle around the whole of the lake and go back to the van right off we go to the next camp spot which i've checked out and it is okay to stay there if we ask the restaurant so let's roll chicken We drove for half an hour deeper into the Alps in preparation for tomorrow's activity. Cheers, as you can see, we're set. <laughs> what? <laughs> you sounded so deflated. Cheers, as you can see, we're set up and swiveled and we think we're in the right spot. So what we're going to do tonight is probably show you just what we what we do. Um, we're going to set up the van, get cosy. Got a bit of stuff to do first, unfortunately, bit of admin, etc. But we'll show you. You know, we're just going to chill out, make some food, and probably watch something on the laptop to chill out because it's an early start tomorrow for us. So this is our normal setup. We've got our twinkly lights. Just going to pull the bed out and get comfortable. So we are camping here because we're going to get up at about quarter past five tomorrow morning, half past five if everything goes to plan, because at about 6am we want to do the Grossglockner Alpine Pass. So we've been really lucky and found out that, well, I think it's okay to park at the very foot of it. So this will all be in the next video. So join you next time. Thank you for watching. Join us next time as we career off the edge of the highest <laughs> Alpine road in Austria. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But. Like and subscribe and click the bell notification button to keep up to date with all of our videos. We'll see you in the next one. It should be a good one. But now we're going to watch some horror because uh, why not when you're camped in the middle of nowhere. <laughs>